I just did not love my skin. I always felt ugly. I always felt I was not beautiful. I just really hated being dark skin. Hi everybody, it's your girl Siri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're living your best life because I am. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're doing good. Welcome to another video. Another video. Hey. <laughs> and from the title guys, today you know I'm going to be vulnerable on YouTube. I'm going to be like telling y'all my biggest insecurity or rather what used to be my biggest insecurity because your girl have grown that now but you know what it's still a very relevant topic till today and most girls around the world feel the same i was like you know what i might as well say it but before we get right into that if you're not subscribed to this channel you better hit the subscribe button right now if you're not subscribed to this youtube channel <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, join the fam, join the girl, we're growing. Okay, so now let's get right into the video. Okay, so guys, from the title, you already know that my biggest insecurity was my skin tone. I just did not love my skin. I always felt ugly. I always felt I was not beautiful. I just really hated being dark skin. And this started from a very pretty young age, from like my teenage years, you know. I mean, that is like the time of your life when you start really feeling this kind of insecurity when puberty hits and, you know, everybody's glowing and you're just like crusty looking and you're like, why am I not glowing? But yeah, guys, I just, from like when I was like 13, 14, you know, I started feeling this, like I, I felt like I wasn't pretty, you know, I just really hated my skin and when I was younger, I think I wouldn't really say I got bullied for being darker skin. I was not bullied at all. But you know those nicks, oh, those nicknames rather that people call you out of joke. You know they're jokingly calling you the name, but deep down is like hurting you. Like people used to call me Blackie because I'm dark. You know and. Um, yeah, people would call me black here, you know, those kind of names and all those kind of things and it would really just make my self-esteem really go down because your girl didn't want to be black, your girl wanted to be light-skinned like, God, why did you create me as a light-skinned person? That used to be my prayer back there when I was young, like, why? Why, why did my mother not mate with a light-skinned person? Like, why mother? Like, why? <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys. Um, yeah, and I felt that way of, you know, I felt that way, but it wasn't until I was in university. So I got into university when I was 16. It wasn't until university that it really became so pronounced and really ate deep into me because I had so many scenarios when I was in university where I was like, God damn, why am I dark skin? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I dark skin? You know, and when I was in university, that was like around 2008. I got into university when I got into university at 2008. So around that time, 2008, 9, 10, 11, even till now. But around that time, skin bleaching was like very predominant in Nigeria. Like every girl was white skin. You're dark today and tomorrow. You're like, oh, look at me. My skin is like as bright as the sun and guys, you know what? It took the grace of God <laughs> for me not to bleach my skin. I thought about it so much So so much, you know, especially when I would go out with my friends because I had a lot of light skin friends that I also had dark skin friends and when I would go out with my friends that are light skinned or whenever me and my friends in general maybe a group of us dark skin girls and a group of us light skin girls you know would go out and maybe go to the club or something or like a social gathering and you see this guy's not giving me attention like no guy would want to come talk to me or when he, when they come talk to me it's because maybe they talk to my light skin friend and my light skin friend was like no dude and then they come to me like I'm like the last option or like the last resort it would literally just make me feel so ugly guys it make me feel like i'm worthless and i know you shouldn't like seek uh uh appreciation or validation from anybody but when you're at a young age when you're 16 17 
18 when at this teenage age at least for me when I was at those age you know a guy telling me I look beautiful you know meant so much to me you know a guy taking interest in me meant so much to me and when that doesn't really happen to you you're like why why like why you know like when the validation you seek so much from this person doesn't really come to you you kind of really feel down about yourself and that was what i really felt and guys i remember one particular situation so i had this friend okay so i've been talking to this guy a friend of mine introduced me to this guy we've been chatting we hadn't met we haven't met in person so we've just been chatting for like a couple weeks now you know things were going good we're feeling each other we've exchanged pictures we know what each other look like and we're like you know what and uh, we're, we're loving the vibe and you know after a couple weeks ago i was like you know what we've been talking for a while now we've been chatting on the phone maybe it's time we like meet up and you know just see each other maybe go for like drinks or something like you know what that is a cool idea and we fixed the date so a couple days to the day a friend of mine came to visit me from a different school from a different state my friend is light skin she is beautiful as hell like my friend is so damn pretty not just because she's light skin but she's beautiful and i messaged the guy i was like oh a friend of mine came to visit me now and she's only gonna be here for this weekend and I really still want us to hang out so maybe I come see you and I come with my friend and then you come with your friend so that your friend can keep my friend occupied while you and I you know we continue our thing and I was like oh yeah that's a good idea and so he messaged me later that oh he spoke to one of his friends and his come with so I was like okay good so I and my friend we dressed up we look good you know we took a taxi and then we went to see this guy and his friend I forgot what we went, we went for drinks Guys, believe me when I say this Immediately this guy saw my friend He literally forgot everything about me Like, who are you again? Like, like who are you? Seriously, he, he literally forgot everything about me Like, he started talking to my friend His friend was now talking to me Like I came to meet his friend Whereas I came to meet him it was just all bizarre and you know what like even my friend was like this is so uncomfortable i feel weird like this guy's talking to me non-stop when he should be talking to you because you know you guys have like kind of like a date kind of and you know even though maybe he saw my friend and he was all of a sudden interested in my friend probably because of god knows what reason deep down at the back of my heart i just could not think i just could not shake off the fact of the fact that it's probably because my friend was light-skinned he saw a lighter skinned girl and all of a sudden he just wasn't interested in me anymore you know and these were one of those many scenarios one of those many things that you know happened to me growing up that just really brought my self-esteem so low as a girl i never felt pretty enough you know the only time i felt really pretty was when i was hanging out with like my friends that were all the same skin tone because i was like you know what well, all of us are on the same spectrum here so uh, but i always dreaded hanging out with my light skin friend because those kind of scenarios happen so many times when i would go out with my friends and no guy would be interested in me no guy would want to talk to me and just this just really made me feel like not pretty like i said you know and it was such a big insecurity to me and you know this carried on until it wasn't until i went for my masters in england that was back in 2014 so by 2014 i was 23 22 i was 22 by 2014 it was when i went there to england by 2014 and just the change of environment alone literally helped you know me get out of this insecurity that i had you know just being in the midst of place where there is a spectrum of everybody everywhere there's a black there are black people there are white people there are mixed people there are every, everything is there you know just and also meeting friends that really did not care or meeting friends just even friends that are with guys in general not like boyfriends or relationships or any kind of thing just friends in general just meeting people that literally did not really care you know about the fact that maybe your light skin or your dark skin they just appreciate you for who you are and just like you for who you are really helped me just leaving that living nigeria honestly to god you know really helped boost my self-esteem and also obviously meeting my husband carson really also helped me because he loved me for who i was loved me for my skin tone loved me for everything that i am and it just really kind of helped and 
you know I just want to say that if you're watching this video right now and you were once like me you know you you you're, you're dark skinned you're probably even darker than me and you know you're feeling like you're not beautiful I just really want to tell you now that you are beautiful everything about you is amazing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet looks amazing your skin tone everything that makes up who you are is beautiful and you might want validation from guys right now because trust me I know I wanted it so bad I wanted guys to pick me over my light skin friends I wanted guys to talk to me first before they talk to my friends that were fair in complexion I wanted that and you might want that right now and you're insecure about going out with your friends because when you go out with your friends they don't talk to you first they talk to guys talk to your friends I just want to tell you those validation means nothing you're gonna years back from now you're gonna look back and you're like why I look back to those guys and I'm like why did I even want validation from them like they were not even that good looking to me like why you're gonna look back to that and you're gonna you're gonna just know that those validation means nothing the only validation you need is from yourself knowing that you're beautiful I know it's gonna take a lot of strength and it's gonna take a lot of time to actually get to that place where you feel pretty just being pretty in who you are and know that you're beautiful but you are gonna get there and when you get there you just you're just gonna live your best life you are like I am now so you know I just I just thought I should share this video because skin issue like especially dark skin dark skin girls we have it more harder in life just in general when it comes to everything about life it's always harder when you're black and it's more harder when you're very dark and you know and so many girls so many young girls have this insecurity going on and I just want you to know that I've been there and I've passed it and if you're there right now I hope you get past it because you're beautiful that is all I want to say you're beautiful if there's anything else if, there's, if you don't take anything from this video take away the fact that you are beautiful and you do not need a guy's validation to make you feel beautiful so there you have it guys that was my biggest insecurity and now the whole world knows it the whole world knows it but like i said was not anymore your girl don't care no more your girl be rocking the skin tone like there's no tomorrow so yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed like what are you even doing with your life Hit that subscribe button now, join the fam, join the gang, a gang, gang, gang. <laughs> join the fam guys, we're growing and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Instagram, I'm going to be somewhere here right now and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.